Hermione. Maru. Most competitive. One versus one game. Africa TV. Freak Up Studio Live. GSL Season 1. Code S. All right, let's settle this. Zest versus Ryung. This is a rematch. We actually started today off with these two, and Ryung had just this outstanding performance against Zest, really, uh, frankly, outclassing Zest. Yeah. I knew that Ryung was in great shape, and I knew a lot of the a lot of the other players had um, spoken highly of him. But uh, even I was kind of blown away by you know how easily he 2 0 Zest. I think Zest had some kind of obtuse strategies he brought into that. Mm -hmm. But now he has a chance to try to make up for that here now. Yeah, I think if you want to beat Ryung here, go into some splash damage and see how he deals with that. This gateway man stuff clearly is not going to work on him. So here we go. It's going to be Roughneck, Glittering Ashes, and Hard Wire. What do you think, Tasis? Who takes this one? I'm kind of thinking Ryung, man. Really? He looked so good even he against did. Morrow, man. Like. But there are fixes that Zest can make. Well, let's hope he doesn't, man. If he doesn't fix it, uh, it's going to stay broken. That's some wise words right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, game one's ready. Let's do this. The rematch is on with Zest and Ryung. Dragon Phoenix Gaming, Zest. Team GP, Leong. So I just, I do want to throw this out there, Tasteless. It's, I feel like it's actually pretty important for Zest to win this, because in the round of 10, we like our Protoss lineup is going to be very small if he does not get in because like Trap, yeah. Trap should make it through his group and Rogue's group should have one Protoss get through either Zaun or Hero I think so it's like that's that'll be it it'll be two Protoss out of ten players at that point and that would be that would be pretty low but three there you go golden ratio <laughs> <laughs> yeah man I mean. Protoss is in a bit of a weird spot. They have been for a little bit now. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess I'm still you know, looking at this match and thinking about the very first game of the day where it was <laughs> like, he just didn't go for Splash. And I mean, I know that is like a way that we've seen people play, but kind of weird to see him do it here and then lose and then mm -hmm. promptly lose the second game. Um, I feel like Zest has to really bring a much cleaner performance here because Ryung, you know, like we said before, he's got a little bit of pep in his step here today. He's looking very comfortable. He's very relaxed. He seems to be having fun. And not everybody's having fun in group stages at GSL, guys. Mm. Uh, it's stressful. You really need to get to, like, later parts of the tournament, you know, to start to make real prize money, to get the notoriety. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times you're paired against players, you know, of, of pretty different result spectrums oh, in for Korea. Sure. So, like... You know, to see him as, you know, one of the players, I guess, tier-wise, we'd put lower, mm -hmm. uh, looking this good and then playing this good. And, you know, he seems to very much so be in his element. Yeah. Twilight Council. Yeah. Nice quick Twilight there. So imagine it's going to be a blink. Uh, Probably. I wouldn't be surprised if we just go, like, two-gate blink, third nexus. Two-gate, three-gate, maybe four-gate. I don't think four-gate's that popular anymore, but let's see what yeah. he wants to do. Yeah. I think two gates the way to do it. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to take a, a base, you definitely. Oh, uh, yeah, and there's the robo. So I imagine it's going to be two gate, but. I mean, you, you can go for a very, very aggressive play. Three gate feels pretty passe at this point. If you're going to go three well, gate, why not go four gate? Or if you're going to go three gate, why not go two gate? Yeah, there was a period where that was like the build, but yeah, it's uh. These, these openers kind of, they have their time in the sun, you know. Oh, it's going to be DTs. Oh. Okay, they're mine. DT drop. Okay, okay. I mean, once upon a time, this was a great build to mix in, so I don't see why it's not a decent choice. Like, I think it's a good build to rotate in. Yeah. Go for a couple of Cape boys. 
Yeah, you don't see that too often. Now, there's a medevac on the way, so he might, like, fly a mind drop in there and just get the scout off. We'll see. Prism is already about halfway you know, done. You know, one of the double-edged swords about doing the this kind of DT play, man, like, you know, if it does damage, it's going to be a lot. It's going to really hurt the Terran. But if it backfires, if you lose the TTs, mm -hmm. uh, the War Prism shot down, you don't have a whole lot to fall back on. It's, it's bad if the DTs do nothing. If they do nothing, your opponent's like, when they hit that supply bump, it's going to be even higher than before. Yeah. You really do need a bit of damage with this. Third Nexus along with this. So, mm -hmm. um, again, it's not bad, but, you know, there is a... Uh, a little bit of brittleness in the build if, if you don't pull off what you're trying to do. So we've got three DTs warping in. Yeah, a mind drop is going for a counter here. There's a Raven on the way. That may help out quite a bit. A scan here. He does pick up that one uh, DT over there, and he's going to surround this DT. Is this going to be enough? It is to kill that one. This, this is actually gonna... still fine. I, th I think this is doing well. <laughs> I know this is doing well. 10 SCV kills now, already. It's going to be for Young's turn. His turn for what, Tasis? To do nothing! Yeah. So, yeah, that really didn't do anything there. Yeah. 10 SCV kills, though, mm -hmm. is, is pretty good. The DT rush was held. The War Prism's been damaged. And a follow-up Archon drop now. Love to see it. Yeah, let's see if he can do a little bit more with this. Again, the third base, you know, is just now finishing. So, like, there's going to be a lot of um, kind of boosting of the economy here. A couple Zalots going in there as well. Blink is being researched. Forge and some more gates on the way. It's a nicely placed siege tank. Yeah, that's really... <laughs> Making it hard for the, uh, the drop to really do that much of anything. A Viking comes out now to chase that away. So the question is, you know, with the third base operational, Stim not far out here. I mean, what can Terran do? Because Protoss has the three bases up. Upgrades are uh, going to fill in along with the rest of the gateways and the other uh, infrastructural necessities that, you know, uh, Zest needs to get to kind of begin to develop over here. Is there a push potential for Terran? Is there some way to try to come in here and attack? Mm. It doesn't feel like it right yet. Uh, you know, he, he did take some significant damage from the DT drop. There's a lot of tech here. I like some of the static D that's being put up as well. A few cannons being warped in. Young is, he's getting ready to put some pressure on at minimum. Even that meta back there. Observer, of course, sees it. Dude, what are they drilling for on this map? Everywhere? I know, man. They better get that out of the ground soon. It's right on the side of a cliff, too. It seems like a dangerous place to drill. Yeah, it would you be. Know? That's why you have machines do it, though. And that's true, but you could lose that machine in the water. That's true, but look at you got to do a cost-benefit analysis here, Tasteless. Like, are you going to mine enough on average with those machines to make money? Look at the thing drilling down here, too. Yeah. There's all sorts of drills. I just wonder what's on this planet that's so worthwhile. I know. Meanwhile, the Terran and the Protoss are just trying to get the minerals like usual. Yeah, for Terran, man, like, are these, like, rare stones or something? Gold for them? Whereas with Protoss, are they, there's, like, shiny rocks they're trying to get? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, Ryung uh, still sits on two bases, and a fourth base is now being taken. Third command center uh, on the way here, but you know Ryung hasn't done that much damage yet. Now let's not forget, Ryung showed so much patience mm -hmm. in his uh, first best of three against Zest, where a lot of Terran players are kind of uh, firing from the hip, so to speak, like they're just dropping anywhere they think they maybe can do damage, mm -hmm. and sometimes they do do damage, and other times they don't. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Ryung has been extremely conservative in his behavior overall. Like, even here, look, he pulls yeah. away immediately. He's spotted. He doesn't go, all right, YOLO, and just I fly like in. No, I think this is there's, great. There's some great fundamentals there, like yeah. some great lessons to take home. I mean, if they see you, you got to assume he's doing the right thing against you. Yeah. 
All right, storm draw. That casts no storms. Oh, he just started size from that is uh, <laughs> so that's funny. funny. That happens, man. Forgot size storm upgrade. Kind of awkward too because you really only get one surprise moment with that war yeah. prism. Yep. Yeah. And that's that. Yeah, that is that is a bit rough. And okay, he's gonna kick off the depot, but honestly he doesn't want to fight because he doesn't have his size storm ready. Is getting into probably disruptor tech here as well. Double forge is going, observer speed. I tell you, I like when Zest is playing. Like, I like the pattern that he goes in to tech up when he's going for a non-Gateway Man build. Like, this is a different opener. We saw him rush to Psy Storm uh, against Ryung the last time they played, and here he did a DT drop, so it's a very different opener. But you see the same types of steps where he's like, okay, we're going to get up to four bases solidly. Mm -hmm. We're going to get Disruptors, our second form of Splash. Continue the upgrades and go into Carrier. And it's like, okay, you're going to make yourself like a very solid army here. So the waiting game comes in here for Protoss. I mean, just being very patient. Terran doesn't have any big ambitions on any of the corners of the map. I I've been really interested in how this matchup is going to look on this map because of how wide it is. And there's just so much terrain that you can kind of march on and, and, and put stuff in. Dude, he's going to go... Three, three gates. Turns. Look at that. Fleet Beacon, more gateways coming down. And so Protoss is at the point in time where they're going to build out like all the end game production facilities. Yeah. Scan's going down, just kind of figuring out what he has. Psy Storm plus Disruptor. Like we saw Ryung jump in and EMP and target down the Disruptor super fast last time. I'm sure that Zest is going to be more ready for that year. But honestly, like, if he just sits back and he can live to his first few carriers getting out, it becomes so difficult to engage that. Like, everything he has requires different counters. It's like you're playing against Psy Storms and Disruptors and Carriers. How do you kill the Carriers, Stasis? It's a good question, Artosis. <laughs> How do you, is it Vikings? Because uh, those are so good against Psy Storms and Disruptors. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> So Protoss now has that, you know, that splash damage we were talking about, especially with these disruptor shots. Oh, Ziggs when he should have zagged with that disruptor, but like, that's not easy for Terran to deal with. Now, um, we have Ryung with his army fractured into two different groups, and fractured on purpose, by the way, and he's going to try to hit whichever side is going to be weaker. So he comes in over here, Zest comes in in the nick of time to defend this Nexus so that it can, in fact, warp in. Mm -hmm. And the northern army here for Ryung didn't really to find anything. Now, this becomes more and more difficult for the Protoss the further out to the corners of the map you're beginning to reach to. But, uh, oh, hold on. He's just going to dive right in here and hope that your screen's not there, and it actually kind of works. It's the same That's move. insane. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, he eliminated a lot there. I can't believe that. More gates being added he in. He just cut him in half. Yeah. And he killed a lot of disruptors, which I think is, like, super, super key because... That's what's preventing you from actually killing anything. The army is definitely bigger for Ryung, but that is Zest planned it that way. He has lots of gates. He's not producing. He's trying to save his money. He's trying to save his supply for what he actually wants. Psystorm goes down the stack deep, buying him very precious time. Yeah, but uh, Ryung's on the move right now, and he does an EMP immediately, comes in there, and only one force field comes up. It's one of those classic StarCraft II solo force fields, like, mm -hmm. you got it, but... <laughs> What can you do with it, man? Yeah. Not a lot. <laughs> so um, he's going to come in once more. Now, there's two disruptors over here, but he's actually sent Marines over here to try to snipe this, which is going to draw back some of those disruptor balls. Yeah, another one coming out. He carriers. goes down. The carriers coming out, I believe, will stabilize this for him. Well, the thing is, is like there's a lot of damage being dealt over here to Zest. And like some of these fights, uh, Terran's winning, man. And like, you know, it's kind of crazy. I mean, Ryung looks like a Terran Zerg right now. Just kind of everywhere at once. And um, look, he leaves with the, the bulk of that southern army. He's continued to grow on the map. Is Zest okay here, though? Well, I think Zest needs to figure out a fight that he can take and win, He's because he's in trouble. Now, maybe the counterattack can do it. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like right now for Zest, he actually can't attack. I, 
He might think he has to, though. You think? I, I think he's actually supposed to pull back and get a little bit more splash. Like, his splash is so low that just the straight-up DPS of the Terran army, I think, kills him if he attacks it. Uh, so I think he really, really, really needs to add a bit to his army before going. Oh, uh, I'm yeah, a little bit worried for him here. That's... Okay, I think he has High Templars in that prism, actually, so that that could be the answer here. Like, a couple Psy Storms, and no, this they're, it's changes empty. the map completely. There's nothing in the War Prism. No, there's oh, no. a second one, though. EMP's going down. Still hasn't utilized that War Prism yet. Okay, here he goes. Drops him out now. That's funny. Two War Prisms, one empty flying around. And he does throw those storms down. The interceptors are mostly gone, so he's got to be careful about that. These carriers are actually paperweights right now. Yeah, they're not really able to do that much. The interceptors soak, you know, it's funny to say, soak for the zealots and stalkers, but that is the way it goes down. And it seems like Zest may keep slow pushing here. He's got to buy time for those interceptors at the moment. But once those are back up, I mean, his army is getting very scary right now. Okay, so he's going to come in here now. Is this actually enough? I mean, this is to the point where Ryung needs to defend this. Supplies keep mounting. Gosh, there's a very vulnerable base up there at the top right. I didn't realize there was, like, literally nothing to defend that. Mm. But I don't know that Zest is going to move in that direction. If he can come up here and push into this spot, he's going to get two bases. Ooh, nice, nice one. storm there. Uh, but look at the damage output. Again, not wow. a lot of splash here, just a little bit for Zest. And Mass Marines can gun this down. Their DPS is so ridiculous. Yeah, well, high. they just wipe out all the interceptors yeah. here. And I don't think there's very much on the ground. In fact, these stalkers try to blink away. They could end up blinking over into this base that I think probably would have been a much better target for Zest, if we're all being honest. Uh, the carriers pull away. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, maybe these carriers are just right clicked over there. Yeah. Okay, Zest is forced to pull back, and he keeps his carriers alive, which is what's important here. He really, really, really needs some more splash. He has, like, a few size storms here, but there's a lot of ghosts. So yeah, EMP, oh, EMPs. Bam. The problem is that, like, the army of Ryung, it's, it's easy to reassemble fight after fight after fight. For Zest, he basically got the super complicated army that just seems to kind of fizzle out after the interceptors die off. Uh, and, and an EMP connects on the Templars. Well, I mean, a, yeah, a big part of it is, uh, well, he lost all those disruptors. I don't, I, like, he should make some more disruptors. Maybe he lost the support bay and he just has been playing without it. But, like, you throw down. Oh, oh, oh my God. He got the War Prison full of Templars. Yeah, that's a bit painful. Oh, Zealots, boy. without charge, walk slowly forward to their death. And Ryung is going to take the game, but. He keeps going. Look, he, you, you. I don't think he should have gone for carriers or Tosis. I'm okay with him going carriers. Like, I think it, the fifth base was a bit of a stretch and he got punished for it. And then yeah. he holds on with the carriers and he immediately counterattacks. Now, he did wait for a little bit more splash, but honestly, if he sits back, his army scales a lot better than Ryung's. So why don't we scale the army instead of attacking with an unfinished, teched out force against mass DPS, I think which is exactly what you need as Terran to kill that off. Here's what I think happened. Okay, I think he was dealt a lot of uh, damage back there and then saw these carriers and saw that he had Templars and kind of thought, oh my God, yeah. maybe that this is where I just, you know, counterattack and win. And you could feel the, the dream slowly fade and rot away as yeah. you see how slow that army is to kind of like uh, engage with any area. This is not the same thing as having speed lots and stalkers and archons where you're like, okay, thank you, I won that fight. Now it's your turn. And so he went all the way out there and slowly had to retreat all the way back. And then it was Ryung coming down there with that execution play. Yeah. Um, oh, Ryung holds on. I mean, it was it was certainly well played from him. I mean, this is this is gonna be it, man. If, if Ryung wins this, he's 4-0'd Zest for the day. Damn. That's that's pretty nice. Just eating IR's lunch. He, he lost 0-2 tomorrow, but it felt like he went one and two.
Yeah. I'm going to give him a one Look, and I'm going to say one. it right here. He went three to two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> In that best of three. 2022 GSL Season 1. Dragon Phoenix Gaming, set. Team GP, Leong. Okay, so... I mean, this is going to be either Zest's beginning of a big comeback or Ryung is going to clap him again and just, you know, just clapping, just clapping kids, man. Just claps his ears. Clap. Like, oh, I yeah, can't man. hear anything now. It's like he's killing mosquitoes in this room, man. Just clapping him. Man. I actually, I feel like Zest... If he would just make a couple decisions better, his PVT would look so dastardly. Like, he's overextending a little bit. He's not staying in very good defensive arcs. There's a lot of very cool things he's doing, like not making units when he hits about 150 because he has exactly enough to hold everything off so he can make carriers and yeah, have bank. so he can fill in he's, six. He's not taking that many bases. He needs a lot of money for this. So he's like trying to skimp exactly and everything. and. Then he's like, well, you know what I'm going to do before these carriers finish? I'm going <laughs> to take a fifth base. And it's like, no, you're almost there, Zest. You're almost there. Yeah, I don't know if he needed that fifth. It's like, well, that's just, you know, another place that you can be hit. You actually have yeah. enough, I think, to build into this. I could be wrong, but yeah, it well, seems like once that. Once the carriers pop out, he can take more bases. He can attack, whatever. If he, he should does do it when the attack temper, comes in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, and the thing is, it, it almost looks amazing. But he's just he's he's making some missteps. There's no question. And by the way, in that last game, I think the biggest moment, honestly, was when like it seemed like maybe Zest was ahead, and then Ryung just YOLO stimmed in and killed off all the disruptors. Yeah. And then like the screen zoomed out, and I don't know what was happening above that, but there's a bunch of Marines coming down, and it's like all of a sudden, mm -hmm. you know, Zest was killed. It's a very StarCraft II esque thing, especially with Terran stim armies, where it's like, mm -hmm. oh, you. Battles happen almost too fast in this game. Yeah. Um, but I'll tell you what, Zest probably wishes his screen was over that in that moment, man. Yeah, because sure. once he lost all that, it's like, oh, all right, that's it. Mm -hmm. The splash damage is gone. Uh, we'll see if he can do a bit better this time. He's obviously not having a good day against Ryung. And Ryung is playing really well. There's no question there. Definitely put out some, some very good games. So I don't want to take it away from him, but I do feel like if Zest fixes just a little bit, he'll be able to win. Don't forget that game started out with the DT drop that got like 11 SCVs. Yeah, that's true, actually. Almost forgettable after all the things yeah. that also happened in that game. Yeah, many things did occur. Okay, so um, it's a three game this time. Yeah, I mean, this is uh, looking a lot like what we saw earlier on. No, wait a minute. Did he go Oracle on three gate in game one? I think he oh, did, in, actually. Yes, in game one, he went Oracle and then, three gate. And then in game Expo. two, he went two gate into Expo with a robo. That's, so this is going to yes. be the three gate robo. Yeah, in the last game, we saw him go two gate robo blank. Right. Uh, third base, but this is three, so we should be seeing him actually go out, like you can see the prism being made. He should go out and do a little bit of a pin, a little bit of pressure, you know, yeah. see what he can pick off. He'll get info from that as well. Oh, I'm sorry, it's actually four gate. Never mind. I Oh, was there a fourth he, gate? He so we both gate missed that? And I missed. So. Okay, so four gate, this is a little bit older, and this is basically intended to take a fight. I was actually about to say that, like, you know, this opening, these are all fine, but really it matters more how he techs later on. But in this opening, it's actually going to matter much more how the Terran defends because the Protoss wants to do some damage right out uh, away. Yeah. Now, the um, 
most straightforward answer to this is to have a bunker, not just the natural, but also in the main. Um, he might kill him with this. Yeah. Like, this is a build that can kill. And look, he's getting up here immediately. All right, picks off the Cyclone right there. That's Stim. That is Stim right there, my Yeah, friend. I think Stim's going to finish in time, though. It does look that way. Okay, not... Not 100% the best micro there from uh, from Zest, and uh, Stim is going to finish, as you mentioned, so that's really, really important. A lot of SCVs ready for that repair. He knows he's, what the next move yeah, is. Yeah, he's going to try to dive bomb the bunker. He sees there's SCVs that he could try to take over there. Nice kiting with that infantry. Uh, and so the Protoss will probably seesaw back over to the um, natural en entry point. Not natural, the main, the main base entry point here. And... Um, you know, the, the, the momentum's gonna build here, but you know, he needs to either kill the bunker uh, or get some kind of big win here. He barely kills that bunker. He keeps the warp prism alive. Mm. Probably should have had some more SCVs on that bunker. You know, you need just a little bit more stay power there. It doesn't mean the game's over, but now, you know, the beginnings of a Protoss win are there, yeah. right? You can start to kite now. SCVs are pulled here. Where Young may have just lost control of this game, and Zest really shifting gears into a more aggressive uh, style of play. It's punishing Where Young. Yeah, and he's being very careful, not blinking forward or anything, as he should not. Picking off what he can. Ten SCVs dead already. Yeah, a little bit chunky on the blinkaways, but he's got to be as safe as possible here. He just needs to keep all the stalkers alive, and then try to fill them back in with more and more stalkers, and only pick fights where he can slowly chisel away at the size of what the Terran has. Support Bay just finished. So let's see, is it Disruptor, is it Colossus? Ooh, some nice pickoffs here. Doesn't lose anything for it. Third Nexus gets started as well. Oh, he doesn't have enough to get that bunker right now. And again, Ryung is just hanging on. All he can do is try to weather the storm, try to take the beating as best he can while lashing back whenever possible. Uh, and really, Zest isn't giving him much. He's not really dropping stalkers. He hasn't given away the War Prism or anything like that. I think we're right at the very end of this. I think so. I think at this point, Zest stops pushing in. Ryung has kind of hit the critical mass to defend everywhere. And now, like, you have to be a little bit careful here, Zest. If you throw too much, it's not like he has a ton of production at home. He needs these Stalkers to buffer for his Colossi tech. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's time for him to just pull back straight up. You, you know, it's... I agree. He I has agree. his third nexus. Things can go really well for him if he if he lives to getting a few Colossi out, gets this charge done. It's going to be nice. And now, I mean, Zest is in a very healthy spot. He's got a lot of gateways coming. He's got his Colossi out. But Ryung's going to move out anyways. And, I mean, at least for where the... Um, armies are both positioned. I don't feel like this is great for Ryung. But let's see. You know, sometimes with the Colossus, it, it can move over a high to low ground easily, but it's actually not a very nimble unit. It can't really get from point A to point B that quickly. Mm. Um, so maybe he wants to try to pick up a drop in the main, but yeah. even looking at the main now, it looks like he's ready for that. So <laughs> basically, Ryung is just going to go back home and, and continue to mass up. And, mm -hmm. you know, for all the damage that Zest did, we could end up with the same um, situation on both sides here, which is that Ryung seems to be better in late game and more patient than Zest is. Mm. Um, and so Zest is going to move out again. This next attack is going to be a very important one. We need to see how much damage Zest can do, or if Ryung can maybe outmaneuver him. Well, the, this is a pretty cool army that, that Zest has here, right? He's got Forest Fields, Blink Stalkers, and two Colossus with a third coming. So you can, you can micro this really heavily. You can definitely shave some units off. Carve out some damage. You just have to hit those force fields. So those charge lots in here now as well. Ooh, look at that. The hallucinated uh, zealots going in. Guardian shields up. Ooh, Very those mines are really good. Yeah, pretty nasty, honestly. And I mean, I feel like Zest just has enough, right? Maybe, yeah. The I think three Colossi is really scary. And look at the way that he's got him where it's like, okay, come and attack me. He doesn't want to attack in. Those Zutnalots are going to make uh, Ryung make some sort of move, though. 
It's third base now under attack as Zalitz getting to the main base. This looks like a zest victory right here. Yeah, I think this game's over, man. All three Colossi stay alive, and there's just nothing that Rion can do. It's all off the back of the damage that was done in the first rush. And we're going to be going into game three here, the final game of the night. Zest getting his first win against Rion. He's lost three total tonight, but if he wins one more, huh. he actually moves on into the round of 10. Yeah, yeah. Big moment right here. One of these guys going to get eliminated. Obviously, the round of 10 is huge. That's our new round of 16, but even more less numbers. Yeah, it's closer to a round of eight when you really think about it. <laughs> oh, my God, yeah. So, um, I mean, I think Zest made a good choice with that opening. I think Ryung realizes what happened. I mean, I think especially when that first bunker fell, even though Ryung didn't die, units were starting to bleed off. SCVs are being killed. And it was chaotic, and even though Ryung survived it, I mean, Zest didn't just do the damage he needed to in the rush, he also built everything he needed back at home, too. Yeah. Well done by Zest. Yeah. I wonder if he's going to get aggressive again in this next game. I think he's actually thinking about right now exactly what he wants to do. That's because, definitely what he's thinking, man. Yeah. Like, what weird build am I going to do? His macro builds are not working out for him as well. I, I think it's more decision-making based than build base, but uh, definitely his execution there was strong, and... and you know, he was able to grind Ryung down. Ryung now getting a little bit of uh, help here from Maru, I think. Yeah, Maru's still in the studio. Looks like he's talking to him now. I mean, I don't think Zest does the same same build that he did last game. Because I think, honestly, all that Ryung had to do is have, like, more SCVs repaired and, you know, be a little bit more prepped for that. But... I mean, this could really go either way. It is cool to see Zest kind of adapt in the group itself yeah. and come out with a build that is much better engineered to take on a player like Ryung and hit him where it hurts, hit him in the early game. Yeah. All right. We are going to figure this out right now, guys. It is tied up one to one. One of these guys going to the round of 10. The last map will be Hardwire. Yep, Hardwire is loading up now, guys. In our final match of the night, final game of the night, I should say, uh, we're going to see who survives, Zest or Ryung. 2022 GSL Season 1. Dragon Phoenix Gaming. Zest. Oh. Team GP. Yo. There's two probes moving out. Oh my god, oh, it's a rush. Okay. Oh, he really wants to go to the next round, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah. Deal with the devil. Let's go. Oh, that's crazy. This man. one's for the gamers, Artosis. This one is This for one's the for all the gamers out there. Oh my god. Yeah, you don't see Cannon Rush every day yeah. against Terran. Well, I mean, if you play the ladder, you probably Yeah, do, but... probably almost every game you see that. But we're talking about in GSL. Yeah, it's I mean, it's the most rare against Terran of all the races. Yeah, so... it's the least effective since Terran, you know, default with ranged units. Yeah. But uh... he's got a probe up here. Oh my god, look at this. He's going to throw these down right in vision. He knows that they're in vision. Hey, the gamers are watching. Oh boy. This is pretty crazy. He goes for a wall in. I thought he might commit down. Ah, uh, okay. He wants to block him from coming so, up. This probe in the main becomes extremely important. Yes, it really because, does. Because like if he kills that, it's like, well, I wonder what's happening in his main base. I wish my cannons could hit stuff. Yeah, in there. and that's why he's trying to zone it back. If a pylon gets up, that I becomes think really hard. The pylon to deal gets with. up! Oh boy. Ho ho ho! Oh, 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 you know, I bet oh, when Ryung had been 3-0 against Zest, he was like, you know what, I'm going to go to the next round. I bet when he was talking to Maru next to him over at his booth, they didn't talk about this happening. No, probably not. Now, again, it, it, you know, the cannons on the low ground are a threat, but if he, if he can stop the cannons up in the main, uh, maybe he pulls it off. But Marines, two of them do enough damage to kill one cannon, but what if you just kept making so many cannons? Oh, he can't get the third Marine out, unfortunately. Oh. That is very, very painful. 
Yeah, another probe is coming. He might just try to snowball it just with warps. Dude, I mean, I don't, I don't think there's any gateway. Yeah, there's no gateways. What am I saying? It's just nothing but cannons, dude. Yeah, yeah. Now more cannons finishing here on the What high about ground. just buildings? Because the thing oh, is, boy. cannons don't cost supply. Hold on now. I mean, if he if no. he can get no. Marines into this bunker, no. and he has about? a factory, like he'll go, he'll, I mean, no. a siege tank? No. You're crazy. Don't forget, like, Zest has spent a ton of money here on this. He doesn't have anything going on other than this push right now. Faceless. Is justice going to prevail? Faceless. Or will evil win? Is it the Joker's Gotham or is it Batman's Gotham? I mean, what happens here? There's a Cyclone on the way. Now, Zest is teching up. This is crazy. Oh, he wants to block it. No, oh, yeah. He, that was ambitious. Crazy. Okay, this is very annoying. Okay, how many minerals does he actually have here? Because he can't repair this forever. Oh, he's got a long distance mine. Yeah. Oh, he's got a salvage it. Yeah, that makes sense, because you can't push any further. There's gonna be a cyclone. He can gun down everything. That means Zest has to tech. It'll take a little bit for him to chew through all this. Can't pull that cannon back out of vision, that's for sure. Oh, gotta be careful. SCV is kind of getting pulled over to the side here. So what, there's five more cannons total. Dude, hold on. Like, I think that uh, Zest is OK because he's just mining more. Here's here. He is certainly mining more, but two Cyclones. What can Zest get in time to stop two Cyclones? That's a good question. I mean, once he gets out, the Cyclone is maybe I don't know about getting this pile on before well, the cannons. It, it, honestly. Cyclone, this, this, I always like to mention, is is the yes-no question. Do you have what you need to stop it? Yeah, and because if you don't, the Cyclone just kills whatever it's dealing with. Yeah, and like he's making a stalker. Okay, what? I mean, he is going to be out of here very quickly. Yeah, and it's not like you're going to make cannons at home to, to be safe against this, right? So like, yeah. Okay, two more gates. It looks like he's just gonna go stalkers and use micro. Okay, maybe that's enough. I don't know, man. He's gonna get this last cannon. He's gonna repair these up. And he might even want to send SCVs with this. He might just have enough. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I, I see one right. stalker. I see one spider boy. One spider boy. One full spider boy. What about alien? these rolly boys coming up here? Oh, dude, those those trucks are gonna get him. Yeah, man. He's going for the Hot Wheels. Command Center. Those Def are the scariest two Cyclones I've ever seen. Dude, yeah. Do you think this this Stalker has what it takes to beat two Cyclones? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Actually, I well, do He's know. about to go up to four. And I mean, four plus good micro is pretty decent. Do we go into a normal game? We. M I think we do. We. M mm. Now, he's going to go right into Blink, by the way. Yeah, makes sense. He's going to take the, the assets he's got in this game mm -hmm. and just buff him with Blink and go right back to it. Yeah, that makes sense. I like it. He's going to go right back there and start warping cannons with those, star with those stalkers. <laughs> he's a prism this time. Yeah. Cannon draw. OK, there's a siege tank here. So, so I mean, this is some pretty anti-stalker right now set up yeah, here for, and it, for Ryung. It seems like Ryung basically has a read on what probably is the best route for Zest to go, which is Blink, by the way, because he already has a stalkers, and so he's just going to answer that, like hard counter the Blink. Tasteless, I need this to be a 30-minute game from here. That it's, would be it's the coming, greatest. Dude. It's coming, man. This It's such a strange position. Like, Zest has way more workers right now. Look at that, 40 to 27. But Ryung's tech is a bit better. The Stalkers, I don't think, will find any damage. OK, is this going to take a third? That that makes sense. Is Ryung going to gear up for like a timing attack? I don't think so. But can if he doesn't, does he just get out-tempoed by well, Zest's advantage? I don't know. I mean, you know, it's, it's a weird game. And I know that we don't know, but I would imagine the players are probably not quite sure of where they're at in this game either. Because I think for sure you yeah. don't, you don't. I mean, this is not a normal game, right? Where you know the damage, you know, has, can be computed ahead of time. It, it's one where like one player might think he's ahead when he's actually clearly behind. Like I feel like if, if 
Zest comes in here with Blink and actually commits, he's going to lose the Stalkers and then lose the game. Oh, that's for sure. Yeah, I think both of them think that Zest is ahead, but how much? Mm -hmm. Is it, I can kill you ahead? Is it, I can get away with greedy stuff ahead? Yeah. And I think it's the, I can get a, away with greedy stuff ahead. Because, like, if he goes Gateway Man from here, how do you ever get an army that can deal with it? It's going to be very difficult. But, you know, you saying that, Artosis, let's not forget, I mean, Ryung is looking like the most patient Terran in GSL right now. Yeah, Maybe he can wait patient. it out. So, I mean, who knows, man? Look at Ryung's face. He does not like his position. Well, he's doing his best. It's kind of crazy how Zest picked the straight up, like, Old school cannon rush. Yeah. Start this off, and it nearly worked. Well, it, I guess it did work. It didn't kill him straight up, but. Okay, the great hallucinated Phoenix comes in, gets very good intel. Three racks, there's plenty of tanks, there's a third command on the way. So I think Ryung will be able to just get into this next base. He should be able to take his third. Uh, Zest has a fair amount of gates, and Charge is going to be finishing up, so there's a possibility we see him attack in. Fourth Nexus coming up. Yeah, he's up on eight gates right now. Man. So I think Zest has played this out beautifully. I mean, to keep expanding, to keep growing, that... Hallucinated Phoenix had looked in there. You know, he, he got a vision of the future, and it was one where he's not attacking him. Mm. He's going to keep growing. Because Terry can't attack uh, out yet quite either. Maybe maybe coming up here, but if, yeah, for I the rest of this game, any. he couldn't have moved on the map. Yeah. And so he's going to start inching out. But, you know, the Protoss is going to finish a fourth base. That's going to be a huge boost. I think once that fourth base finishes, I think we see a lot more gateways start to start. Dude, it, and Zest just, is staying a step and a half ahead. Yeah. Fourth base and Templar Archives, these are like really good decisions from, from Zest, I think. Like every time it looks like Ryung is making the right move, Zest is just like, yeah, and I'm also doing this. And how long can Ryung answer that? He's down in supply right now. You know, right around these numbers, like 60-ish, this is normally where you see Terran up in an even game. Sure, yeah, absolutely. Good catch, good yeah. position there with the Viking. We're young, really playing a clean game. Uh, you know, doing his best to try to catch up here. Dotting his T's and crossing his I's. Yeah, using scans for intel right now. Sees the army size, see now, where it's at. Keep in mind, if Zest overextends, the game could spiral out of control as well for the Protoss. Yeah. You know, you have a bad engage and Terran just stims all that down. Oh, dude, You're he's, fine. He's going to get into Disruptors now. Psystorm into Disruptor. Yeah, he... Zest is treading the line like perfectly right now. Yeah, he's playing. I think by far the best game of the whole, the whole day. Even sending a probe out here, I assume to make pylons or spot for a drop. Mm -hmm. You know, if he needs to recall, he'll just do it in time and deflect the drop there too. Psy Storm, ten seconds out. Look at how careful Ryung is being. Yeah. Well, his SCV counts okay. His his army counts okay. His worker count is kind of meh, um, but not terrible either. Yeah, no, I think it's all right. I mean, he's already missing patches in the main, so that's enough for three bases. Yeah, that's true, actually. Wow, a fifth base. Yeah. Okay, Zest is kind of crazy. God, it's just, but there's there's no punish. Like, there's, there's, he's just staying right out of reach. Oh, oh God, you can't be losing that. Storm comes down. Ooh, oh, man. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Storm's oh, all over God, the place. Oh, my God, and the War Prism gets away. Okay, okay. Well, he didn't lose too much. They're on the same supply. Disruptors are coming, though. Oh, man, he just moves the third base up here. He needs something, anything. Yeah. But with base is up. Look at the amount of charge lots out here right now. Disruptor's coming. Carrier's certainly going to be on the way next. You know, it's kind of like that Armani Morrow game, only it just seems like, you know, with uh, Zest in the position that Armani was sort of in, mm. he's playing it outright. Yeah. He's just continuing to pull his advantage, and he's being very, very patient. 
He knows that a misstep is all it's going to take for him to lose control of the game. So he's just, you know, he delayed the third. Finally, the, the third base CC that was supposed to be put at 6 o'clock is going to be put just outside the main. Mm -hmm. And as that happens, the fifth base finishes. More tech is coming, two more Stargates, a Fleet Beacon, uh, shield upgrades. I mean, it's, he's just getting everything else. Yeah. He's, he's, he's ticking all the boxes of, like, what Protoss can have here. And Ryung needs him to waste something. Yeah. That's the important thing. But if Zest just sits back, like, look at this. Zest right now, he's adding gates. Look at his bank. He could macro more, but he's not. He's doing that same type of move where he's just keeping empty supply so he can get into exactly what he wants. He's not wasting money. But in the previous games where Ryung won in this position, like, Ryung was already maxed, had map control and stuff like right. that, right? And he had an army that could attack. Here he's put a ton of money into defensive units. He's got liberators, he's got mines all over the place, he's got siege tanks, cyclones. Look at this. He's just like continues to defend, but with carriers on the way, I mean, he, this is going to be an army that can bust through. Now, let's point out here, Terran's almost maxed out too. Yep. Um, it's not going to be a comfortable fight, but Terran is going to also hit their limit for everything they can have in a game, right? So, um, you know, Maybe we are going to have a push come here from Ryung. The problem is that uh, money's now spiking here for Zest. You know, he's got 2.5k minerals, sorry, 2k minerals, whatever, and a little bit under 1,000 gas. He's adding a Colossi as well. So now he's going to have all three sources of splash. Right. Uh, carriers. Carriers, too. Like ev it's everything. It's everything you want. And it seems like now he's going to try to push north. EMPs, but man, that ramp, that's tough to try to engage disruptors on, right? Yeah. For sure. I think two disruptors hold off a lot over there. <laughs> yeah. He's starting to kill his own units, which I love to see. So, in a situation like this, it's like better to kill off your units because a, a good player can tell when you're sending them in for the purpose of clearing supply. Yeah. And if you send those in, then, then suddenly you're like, oh, that's actually an attack timing for the Terran player, where you're like, okay, he's buying like carriers or Colossi or something like that right now. He's killing off some of his own units to try to make room and supply to get things like Templars. Yeah. More bases, man. More bases. And Ryung. If Ryung wins this, he is the greatest hero of all time. Well, I mean, he's been so patient, right? In all these games, and he's won most of them, right? But even in this one, you know, this guys, if you just now tuned in, this was a cannon rush that Ryung barely held. And then Zest went back and took the whole map, uh, or most of it at least. And then Ryung has just played it out. He's never overextended. And I think for the first time, we're gonna see some real action here. A drop inbound, probably to bait out a recall. All right, so well, that's, a, that's a funny spot to have some units unload. Yeah, I don't think that's what he was looking for, unfortunately. Well. I don't think that it's like bad for Young to do that. He can kind of get into better supply here. I think he doesn't really want many Marauders. Getting ready for another attack. This army is so silly. Like Ryung has to take the greatest engagement. He's, it's possible. It's possible. Oh, these medevacs, don't mind us. Okay, get some decent EMPs off. Here comes the disruption ball. There you go. <laughs> okay, he's going to just inch in here. And, I mean, he's going to kill off the CC. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. And now he's going to come down to the planetary. Is this an overextension, though? Well, a lot of EMPs going off. The planetary uh, is getting some serious work done dude, as there's well. There's a lot of SCVs repairing this. It's, like, kind of barely hanging on. Yeah. Or it was. Well, he does end up losing there, unfortunately. Ryung with uh, quite the effort here. Ooh, some Psy Storm drops get off on his army. The Interceptors are going down in size, but the Claw Side putting out a lot of damage here. Prism bringing in more Zealots. He has to retreat a little bit. Dude, like, Ryung is is doing as well as you could expect anyone to do from this spot. Yeah, I mean, he's playing amazingly. And look yeah. at this recall. Oh, Zest. Just, you know, not 
going to overextend. Yeah, he's so patient. This is the most careful game that we've seen him play in a long yeah. time. Well, this makes sense. I mean, he's basically lost to Ryung over and over again. Uh, and, you know, Ryung is, like, very behind. I mean, if you just look at the map, Ryung's still on now three bases. He's going to reclaim the fourth by uh, jettisoning. I think that's actually the main yeah, CC. Yeah. And uh, dropping that there. And so, like, Terran's, like, barely hanging on right now. Uh, no hidden base is just Protoss filling in all the mineral patches up here at the top half of the map. Yeah, Ryung almost getting a decent, decent battle there. He's going to try to come down again. And keep in oh. mind, you know, Protoss can trade off some units. They have so many bases they can rebuild. Terran is barely into this and doesn't have enough patches to mine from where they can make it work. All right, the Marines are going to try to uh, obliterate the interceptors first. Oh, God. Yeah, he's going to get some side storms off now. Drops oh. them out of that prism. This is a lot of damage up, but the interceptors are gone. Yeah, the interceptors are all gone. There's if still only the Colossi weren't there, like, he would have a shot at killing this army. Sure. The Colossi, though, are adding so much damage against this mass Marine ball. And, I mean, Ryung is trying to take the fight as best he can. He does not have a bank behind this while Zest does. So even if he kills this off, he needs to do that, like, twice more. This is kind of crazy, man. Like, Ryung is, uh, again, guys, his his heart's still beating, man. Yeah. He's still alive in this game. It's just, it's, it's getting rough, dude. What's a, what's a hero story where the hero it's like a really good hero story where the hero dies at the end? Uh, Matrix One doesn't he die in the end and then he like comes back to life for some unexplainable reason? Oh, I don't know. I can't remember actually. Any kind of Disney movie? Romeo and Juliet, right? No. <laughs> Riangio and Juliet here. He's like. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Juliet cried uh, and her tears touched Romeo and then he came back to life like a Disney movie. Rungyo and and Taryn wins. It's a uh, it's a sad story here, tasteless. I mean, it, look. Uh, let me let me paint the one optimistic way this could go for Ryung. Yeah. Protoss keeps inching in, and Taryn keeps staying alive, base by base by base, and yeah. things start to dry up in the north where the Protoss is. There's not as many mineral rich locations. I mean, Ryung has really shown like an insane amount of patience. Yeah. Here. He just isn't overextending. He isn't taking a fight unless he has to. He isn't taking an angle that's not going to be favorable to him. The thing is, Zest can trade at a really poor deficit, and it's going to be a victory for him. Just oh. any trading is good yeah, for him yeah, at yeah. this point. Well, that's the thing is he has so many bases. You're just like, all right, we'll just like hit anything because I have, you know, what does he have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He has seven bases total here. Yeah, the EMPs are just awesome every time from Rio. Yeah. Uh, his retreats are amazing, his building placements, his micro, but there's there's no macro to back it up, unfortunately. He's having such a hard time mining anything. He's mining from one base right now. Zest taking another base as we speak. Yeah, nice storms coming down here. Uh, again, Zest. Dude, I think Ryung actually wins this fight again. This is insane. This is like, oh, hold on. That's yeah, a lot of zealots. Yeah. The Colossi are just dealing so much damage. He's still going to well, clear it. He's going to kill the two Colossi. Oh, hold on. There's a war prism. Dude, Ryung is truly good. He is truly good. Look at the I can't things believe he is this. doing in this game. Like, he's actually up in supply right now. I have chills. Well, it's, it's I can't even pretty go, crazy. Like, what am I? He's got two bases now. Uh, it, it's going to be mass archons, as you know. Zest knows a counterattack. He's got a brace for impact here, because he doesn't want to lose control of this game. Dude, but, if dude, Ryung there's a lot of ghosts in the EMP. It he throws down a handful of EMPs on those archons. They're just going to pop. Colossi, though, still going to put out a lot of damage. Oh, probably not good to have that on the cannons, but he's going to have some extra EMPs a, here. Yeah, he has a few more. Okay, backs up, backs up. This is a crazy game. This is like Ryung is just willing his way through this. 
This one goes out to all the people that die of cannon rushes <laughs> every day. Yeah. You just, you just stay in the game, fight hard. But again, now, now we're starting to get to where this could get even, depending on how the next couple fights go. Dude, Briang is doing everything, man. You still got that Widow Mine up there getting damage. This is the most tooth and nail I think I've ever seen anyone fight through anything. Ryung truly heroic this game. Throws out a bunch of EMPs. Okay, the, oh. the Archons just disappear, man. But the Colossi, the damage is a lot. The Stalkers are in a very good angle. Maybe there's enough, though. Push comes to shove, oh and he moves my through. God. Oh, Dude. my God. Dude. Is Ryung doing it right now? What is going on here? Is he the chosen gamer? Oh, no Archons for I you, friend. I can't even believe this. Zest has zero army, just whatever he's warping in right now, which is mostly Archon base. Keep in mind the exterior Ooh. bases are really the, the minerals he has. I mean, the top four bases, most I think have been nearly and completely mined out. So, I mean, he basically has the second layer of bases below the top file or whatever you want to call that. Uh, and that's just three bait. What's well, two now? There was three. One just got killed off. So this is kind of crazy, man. And it, honestly, I think this game is flipped. It's clearly Ryung in the lead now. Dude, uh, I this can't believe so this. This is so absurd. I do, like, Zest doesn't really have anything. Yeah, well, and he certainly doesn't have anything of complexity, right? He's just been able to crank out some gateway stuff but he doesn't have like those carriers. He doesn't have those Colossi. I don't see warp prisms with Templars in them. Maybe they're somewhere else on the map. And now there's a counterattack. And I'll tell you what, man, you know, Terran tend to deal out damage a little bit quicker than these kind of Protoss attacks yeah. like this. So like, I don't think Terran has to like really react that quickly here no. either. Oh my yeah. God. And the base looks... trade will go in, in Ryung's favor for sure. Yeah. Zest, Zest barely has anything right now. I think Zest may be in disbelief right now as to what's happening. I mean, yeah. Zest with such high ambitions for this year. And Ryung, you know, most of you know what we were wondering about with Ryung is like, where is he at exactly? Everybody says he's good. He's bending time and space to make this game happen. Goodbye, Archons. Now, again, you know, Maybe a tenacious Zest hangs on. Does he have the tenacity of, of a player like Ryung? I don't know. Uh, Ryung is still functioning on two bases. Looks like this third one's in trouble with the Stalkers coming in, but he'll probably have to recall these away. Hmm. I, oh, oh what? Boy. Where do those come from? Yeah, yeah, that's too bad for Zest. He's like, right remember there. game one from earlier today? <laughs> GG! Wow! Wow! And it's sad to see Zest go. Definitely one of the world's best Protoss players. Nah, this is amazing. And Ryung is so sick. He is, that is insane that he won that game. He, like, wow. 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 That was if so crazy. If you don't crazy. have respect for Ryung after that, there's something wrong with you. Like, that guy, that guy can I, play some StarCraft too. That was such a good game. Oh my god. Just don't overextend. Um, I think that does it for this group, guys. We get to end on a very high note. Ryung in an insane match does manage uh, to beat Zest of all players. Uh, we're gonna go to an interview now with Ryung. I really wanna see how he's feeling winning that. Maddox will be uh, translating for us once more. And I think we're gonna go to that interview now. What a game. Now we have a second winner of the game. It is going to be Ryung. Congratulations on winning. It's been years when, uh, since you got into Code S, and now you're into Round of Ten. How do you feel? Uh, I'll try to let it all go. But uh, DRG got in the Monday, so maybe I can. Uh, so DRG made me feel, like, made me feel wow. to uh, be more. The last game in Hardwire. Wow, it was what a game. I mean, after defending the counter rush and, and all of the harsh moments, and you prevailed it. 
What happened? I mean, uh, it was really yeah, weird feeling. But yeah, it's like yeah. After so like supply, after the free supply block, uh, supplying block, it failed, and I thought I would have lost this game. But after actually Prince, uh, my teammate, actually uh, taught me about this build, and he actually taught me how to counter it. I didn't really think that I would win that either, but turns out I did. And all the DT builds that you have uh, suffered with it, right? right? And how do you feel about that? And actually, I really didn't think about DT build either, so I mean, that he had a lot of build in his sleeve, so. But just I had a confident in my macro, so if I go to late game, I was just confident to win it. You have shown a lot of good TVPs back in an IEM, and you have beat Zest twice. And I was really curious about your TVP macro. How do, you, how do you think about it? How do you feel about it? I mean, I was very really interested in... Uh, I was really not confident about TVP, but actually, uh, winning all the Protoss in a row in IEM made me much more confident. Uh, I was a little bit scary that I would get a cold feet, but I managed that also. And also the game with Morrow in five years. And after five years, he actually revenged you. So how do you feel? I mean, he's really good at TBT. I mean, he's a really good overall. So even though I was ahead in 6 0, so I just didn't really want to face him because just I wanted to keep that 6 0. But, well, yeah. It is what it is. I just faced him and I lost it. And after the first game, yeah, I thought I'd win that game, but I lost. So do you really think that you would uh, you would have won that in the first game? I mean, if I was a little a year, few years younger, I would have beat him, honestly. But, yeah, it is what it is also. And now, you have mentioned DRG and Prince, and it seem, uh, seems like you have uh, some people to thank. Honestly, Honestly, no. I didn't all that by myself. But uh, actually, but uh, being, in the same, being the same group with Maru, I thought I would share something a lot with Maru, but actually, turns out I didn't. But, well, anyways, well, all that improvement I had was all because of Maru, so I thank you for that. <laughs> it seems like your uh, your sponsor, uh, SGP, your team manager would be uh, have bad feelings about it because he always follow you. Well, like I said, it is what it is. But he cared a lot. Uh, he cared a lot with me, so, and he also followed me and I get a mental boost. So I thank him for that. So anything last for the fans? After I let it all go in IEM, uh, I just got a good result. So I, after that, I got confident. And it seems like, turns out, I, after being confident, it seems like I expect more. So just, uh, I was really worried about uh, being uh, under, underperforming, but it seems like yeah, I managed that. And thank you for all the cheering and all the expectations you got. And thank you for translating, Maddox. Uh, guys, there you have it. You heard it from Ryung himself. Uh, what a crazy way to end today. I mean, I was already pretty happy with the games today, but like, damn, dude. Mm. It was uh, it was awesome. Today was a fantastic day. Ryung is the true hero. Oh, yeah. Uh, can't even believe that. I mean, it's sad to see Zest go out. It seems like we are going to definitely uh, be having a hard time for Protoss representation this season. But Ryung, like, just played completely out of his mind. So much fun. It's like one of the best games I've ever seen. Yeah. It's no, crazy. I, I he, was sure he was dead for so long, and he was... It was the most patient play we've really actually ever seen.
Um, it's going to be a moment where, uh, I, I don't know, man. It's kind of a crazy day of, um, I don't know, Terrence coming back. Mm -hmm. Well, our next group, guys, is going to be Rogue, Nightmare, Byun, and Zaun. And, uh, yeah, this is, we could get Zaun out of there. Could be, could be, um, could be interested to see how Nightmare performs. Yeah, he is such, an, he's the biggest underdog in this whole season. For sure, but you know, we're, our tournament is also kind of built off some of these guys that are going to show potential in the future, so. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I look forward to seeing how, you know, Nightmare is uh, going to play here. Beyond, oh, sure. I hope his wrists are okay. I mean, I, I love Nightmare's play before. He was the first guy to use uh, DT Blink professionally. Yeah, of course. So we can all remember that. Yeah, maybe he'll do it this time, but they won't attack as quickly and he just <laughs> dies. Who knows? <laughs> we did see uh, that today. <laughs> um, man. Terran comebacks. Yeah. Just play like Maru or Ryung. Yeah, I guess so. You're losing that game. Have you it's tried nice <laughs> playing flawlessly for like half hour and then <laughs> yeah. beating That's... his army in the end and then killing each base and then then winning? Yeah. How about that? I'm glad that we have a second Terran that we can say just play yeah. like that guy now when people are having a hard time. So That's that's really nice. Thank you to Ryung for that. Just play like Group B Terrans, man. Yeah. Um, great games today. Amazing. Uh, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I'm full yeah. of energy, man. I got to yeah. go run around the building a couple times. I'm going to run some laps. Do you want to, when we turn this off, just recast today Let's with just me? cast it again together. To one nobody. more time to let's no one. Let's not even yeah. record it. I just want yeah. to do it for passion reasons. Let's just let's just do that. Uh, guys, thank you so much for joining us. I mean, what a, what a crazy set of games already. We're off to a very good start. Definitely better games than Group A, uh, by the way. Oh, yeah, for sure. And... Um, I, I doubt another group is going to be as good as that one. Like it's that, hard to top, dude. That Ryung game at the end, like when he's getting cannon rush and his command center's on fire flying away, <laughs> and then he wins. And a like, probe tries to run up and block it from landing, and it lands anyways. I don't know. Crazy games. Uh, guys, that's all the time we have. We'll be back Monday, same time, same place. We love you. Take care. Bye-bye.